Hello, 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 and good afternoon. My name is Amy Gill, your pharmacist that cares. So today on this beautiful, nice, sunny, finally looks like summer day, um, I want to kind of visit a little bit what we talked about last week and then kind of tie that in to what I want to talk about this week. So last week I talked about not giving up your routine because it is summertime and how important it is to stick to that routine and not let other things get in the way. Well, this week I wanna talk about how to overcome lost motivation. So maybe it's not the routine the problem, maybe it's just that you don't have the motivation to even move forward and, and to even, even figure out where to go. So the first thing we need to look at when we're talking about lost motivation is identifying the problem. So what is causing this lack of motivation? Is it, do you feel overwhelmed that you have so much going on? It's summertime, um, you are out of your routine. Uh, the kids might be home from school and things are just out of sorts. You've got some vacations planned and you are just kind of pulled in all different directions. And that happens a lot to all of us. So that is important first to figure out what the problem is. And then next, we need to figure out how to look for a solution. So let me give you an example of what's going on here at my house. So I'm obviously not in the same room that I normally am when I go live with you guys. Why? Because we are getting, getting a ton of painting done at the house. So I am not in the living room. There is scaffolding set up in there as they are painting and working high onto the ceilings. So it is kind of throwing me off a bit. I'm not going to tell you that's it, it is. It's truly throwing me off a bit. And it is easy to say, okay, I'm not going to go live today because I don't have anywhere to go live. Or I'm not going to work out because where in the world am I going to work out, right? I've moved everything from room to room. I'm like walking through paths of things until one room gets done and then I can start putting stuff back. So it's easy for anybody to get out of that routine and to have that lack of motivation. So first we've identified the problem. So now we've got to look for a solution. There's always a place that I can talk to you guys, even if I'm going to sit outside, right? I could always find somewhere to do it. So look for a solution. It can be as simple, like I said, as shifting a room, um, as you know, shifting a time you're going to do something, getting up a little earlier, right? Moving things around a little bit, asking for help. That is huge, especially if you feel overwhelmed, ask for help. That is something that we all need to do. We can't do it all on our own. Now, the next thing that I talk about this every time I think is mindset. So you have to get in the right mindset. You have to be positive because if you are lacking that motivation, very likely your mindset is not where it needs to be. It's not gonna be, you're not gonna be positive. You're not gonna be focused on what you, what you want to and what you have always done before. So you've got to change it up. You have to find what is holding you back and why that mindset is not where it usually is. Now, the next thing that can help is an accountability partner. Let's say we're talking about working out, okay? And you just don't have the motivation. You're like, oh, you know, I have so much to do today. I have yard work. The kids have a baseball game. How am I gonna find time, right? How am I gonna find the time? There always is time. There is time for what you want to do and what you find important. There's always time to work out. There's always time to make those good food choices, but you're just making excuses, correct? So find that accountability partner that you can work with, somebody you love and trust that you guys can talk all the time, even just as a quick message. Hey, I just got my workout in and it's 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. or it's 6 p.m. and guess what? I finally got my workout in. But do that. Find that accountability partner that you can work with because everybody needs that. Everybody needs a coach. I have somebody helping with social media. Why? Because I need a coach as well. I need that account accountability partner saying, Amy, go live. Let's go talk to everybody today. So the next thing I want to talk about is having goals. Have those goals set because that a lot of times is what is pushing you to get there. That's going to help with the motivation. If you can have a goal in mind and you keep it set, you want a why that makes you cry. So why do we want a why that makes us cry? Maybe not literally cry, but we have a reason that we want to do this, right? We have those goals are so important to us, whether it is staying healthy, 
getting healthy, continue on that healthy lifestyle journey. There are so many reasons why. And again, to be happy, you have to be healthy. To me, that is a huge goal, but find that why that makes you cry. And the next thing is stay focused. You have to stay focused on those goals. Stay focused on your why, because that's why you set out for this. And if you follow these steps, that lack of motivation, you will overcome it. It will be gone. Write your goals down. Look at those things because they have to be present. You have to talk about them. And again, that's why the accountability partner is important. Tell them what your goals are. They'll tell you what their goals are. So if any of these things, you're like, oh my gosh, I could use help staying focused. I could use help with setting my goals or identifying what my problem is and trying to figure out how to deal with this lack of motivation, reach out to me. I would love to help you. I would love to be your accountability partner. You can jump on my website, Amy Gill at, or excuse me, Amy, oh my gosh, amygill.com, theamygill.com. Oh goodness sakes, theamygill.com. And you can set up a consultation with me and we can chat and I can be that accountability partner to help you find that motivation again, to reach those goals and to help you focus on your why. How you do anything is how you do everything. Okay, I'm going to say that again. How you do anything is how you do everything. So how do you present yourself? Are you the one that's focused and you're ready to go? That is how you're going to do everything in your entire life. And that is how people are going to see you. Let me help you become focused and to hit those goals for a healthy life living. My name is Amy Gill, your pharmacist that cares. Have a great day, guys.